All right, guys. I got another one. This is from Wrist Mafia. It will be my third. So we'll see. Hopefully I'm impressed. All right. There you have it. Another three-hander. Feels a little bit better than the ones I had in the past, so. All right, I'll see what I can find out about this brand, and uh, we'll get right back to the review. All right, guys, this is the third in my line of Wrist Mafia watches. You guys have seen the other two that I've gotten. They're not um, overwhelmingly impressive. There's this one, and there's this one. Basically, standard three-hand watches. Um, with Chinese movements, essentially $20 watches at a bazaar. This one's probably the first one where I actually feel like maybe I've gotten my money's worth and I am not trying to bash Wrist Mafia, right? I am taking into consideration the fact that the watches that I'm getting, they are a certain price, price range, right? And that's okay. It's not for me to decide what what's the value for somebody but um i signed up for the six month and i just wanted to see kind of what i would get and this is this is what i have been getting and this one is probably one of the nicer ones uh it's not bad um but like with the other two i expect that these are going to be um, it's going to be a Chinese movement, and we'll get right into that. I'm going to have to take it apart, but I'll put a picture up here so you can see. Um, you can see what kind of movement it is. My guess is that it's probably a Chinese version of the PC32A or 21J. And they do have that. This one's a little bit nicer. It's a rose gold color. It's obviously not real gold <clears throat> or coated by any means, but... It's plated with some gold coloring. Um, it's got nice artwork on the back. Uh, and this particular one is the uh, Classico Modella 3. And it's a limited edition set, which comes with two watch straps. There's this one, and there is this one. Uh, and they are nice. Uh, they're, they're not horrible. Each one of these, I would say, would cost me at least $10 on eBay, right? And I'm saying nice. Um, it's not something that you're going to get on a, uh, on a Breitling, right? But this is something like if you were restoring uh, a watch and you needed a watch strap, this is something you might buy and put on. Um, it's not bad. This watch probably feels, my honest opinion, feels better than the others. These other watches, you know, and, and I've shown them to you, right? Like this is one of them. Um, looks cool but these aren't gauges it's just a single three hand with a chinese movement this feels like a 15 to 20 dollar watch this one actually feels like a 30 dollar watch and since i paid 35 for it uh that's the shipping cost plus the cost of the watch um it's what it is so you know it's kind of like all right so maybe i got my money's worth this maybe a little bit less um, not too concerned. Doesn't even really, yeah, so it says I get a two-year warranty. Um, so, okay, that's not too bad. I'll take a picture of you guys can see that. I think this is probably the first one that is even remotely decent. I've not been happy with it, uh, so far. And I, I won't get too much into it with Wrist Mafia, but I get a lot of emails from them, and they talk about Rolexes, and the ones that they show are the ones that you think you're going to get. Now, I don't think I'm getting a Rolex for $35, but I do see some inexpensive uh, Chinese movement, uh, Chinese mechanical watches, which I assume I'm going to get, and I don't get that. I've been getting standard course three-handers. So I'm going to go ahead and do some quick measurements. There are, there's no loom, no point in even showing you there's no loom. So uh, let's see, 40 and a half, uh, we'll say 40, 40. Um, lug width is 20, 
Depth, I'm gonna say 12 and a half. 10, 10, okay. Lug to lug. I do from the middle of the point. I don't do end to end. Um, 46 and a half. All right, and let's check the weight. Forty six point five grams. So, all right, well, there you have it. Not bad, but kind of what I would expect. And by the way, this is not a screw down case. You can see if you make just carefully, it's a pop out. So, but all right, yeah, interested in your comments, um, even if they're negative. <laughs> I am going to do a full review. I am hoping that the next two, I, I've got three more coming, so I'm hoping that the next three are decent. I'm not going to sell them until I get all of them so I can do my full video. But uh, yeah, all right. Thank you very much. Please leave a like and subscribe.